SC P Kim Neo Hang Singh Honorable MLA for Dang Dang Song Hiti Wa Hize Arzum Tetingle Caroline Hau Kip Hia James Go, go, go! 
Kabupaten Kabupi Wanabai Eleven. Lantang Paisan Village Mopu.
least we have last contender of Mr. Tano Pre-Ministry with none other than contestant number one, La Luma Samuel. We can tackle many problems 
and it, and it has been a boon to the healthcare societies as well. And the disadvantage of social, uh, the, the disadvantage of so technology is that because of technology, even kids nowadays has put on spec because uh, because of poor eyesight. That's all. Thank you. Miss Nathan Kim will speak on the topic War on Drugs. I repeat, War on Drugs. Good evening, everyone. The topic of week is war on drugs. So, war on drugs is a campaign led by the United States federal um, federal government in the United States. It solely aims um, to reduce the consumption, production, and also uses uh, uses of drugs. It has um, had a very big impact and saved our society because uh, it also ends so many drugs, uh, drug-related criminals. But um, the uh, the negative effect is that um, so many criminals uh, criminalization is there, and they are given inadequate uh, amount of comfort and it leads to so many deaths because of that. Thank you. Thanks, Abdul. Thank you very much. Kim Dae Hoi, Daisy Pick. A topic on my culture, my identity. I repeat, my culture, my identity. But the blood that runs deep in our veins, the tradition our parents has followed, and this all can uh, people can see it through us that it. Uh, I'm so sorry. People can see it. The culture. Sorry, I will start from the beginning. Belonging to a diverse, uh, belonging to a country of diverse culture, well, can be very overwhelming. But the blood that runs deep in our veins, the culture, the traditions our parents has followed, since of, um, from our forefather, that is our culture. And if people can see that through us, that makes it our identity. I hope today you can see a high spirit woman standing before you and with, with the high aspirations talking to you talking all about the culture and identity can see that this is my identity because i am a woman with high hopes with high spirits for the for the culture for the traditions or have our parents our parents have followed our forefathers has followed because that is my culture and my identity. Thank you. Ms. Dimpi Chung has picked the topic human rights. I repeat, human rights. Good 
Our society really likes of these mental health awareness programs, which, uh, which is a great problem for the youth today. So let us all be kind, understanding, and be very careful, careful with our voice, because we never know what someone has to go through behind closed doors, or what is the reason behind their actions. I believe that today every of us has to go through or have gone through that phase of life that is very difficult to understand and just, uh, explain. So uh, the best therapy in our society is the oneself or near and dear ones who can encourage us and support us in the right ways. And, and mental health, it is it depends on us like um it is the best for us to talk with our elders, have a little conversation, and that small talk will lead us to a very good impact to improve mental health. Thank you. Miss Kim Lai Ching has picked domestic violence. I repeat, domestic violence. Good afternoon, good evening everyone and respected judges. Domestic violence is a privilege, privilege uh, that every individual face. It is like uh, It is not just uh, Domestic violence is something that we all are dealing with. Achi, 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 kle. We all are dealing with. Apart from that, tam tau ni misong sin. Mental health kyu hilogin? Domestic violence is something emotionally and psychologically are affected. So let us build. And create a world where domestic violence is unacceptable. And um, thank you, that's all. Thank you, Mighty. Your contestant number eight, I'm going to speak. A topic on financial literacy. Financial literacy. A very good evening to all the judges and everyone present here. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on financial literacy. Well, finance, financial literacy is just knowing the basic concept of financial management principles and then you follow it in your day-to-day -day life. As our society is growing and catching up to the modern ways of the world, it is important that we be aware of the financial fraud and problems that exist around us. So, a strong financial literacy can be um, uh, built and uh, this can be done by uh, saving money for your education and for your retirement. And this is really, really important because of uh, the Financial literacy, without having a concept of it, you, you never know how to spend your money. You can you may have lots and lots of money now, but then someday you'll still be in debt. Thank you, that's all. Thank you very much, Lamehi. Now we have a last one lesson from Lee.
lesson number two, namely in the speak. A topic on cyber crime and security. A topic on cyber crime and security. Good evening, Kampopi. We all know about this crimes happening online, and I think we should all be aware. These crimes are really dangerous because that, that can ruin your life. These crimes include hacking personal information of other people and it's difficult to prevent every action that these that is people make but it's better to be aware all the time you're online your online Actions, yeah. Yes. There's a lot of people who lose their jobs, who lose their wealth because of not being aware, not being, not being careful about their uh, when it comes to their actions. So I. Uh, I would like to tell all of you that it is important to keep track of your information and you have to be careful all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Nathan. Good evening, everyone. Technology here in the city, Kiman Chapiwin, Fun Hien, Gari, Pio, his own FM, Sai Sai, to my Sakai Tahi, Satin FM, or yes, you are coming to me, technology here. Hey, Kapazi Kazam, BP here, BP a Samzi, Amai on me, the Dimension Hospital of Hun, Araki Vetsazi, Ivan in Chile, Malay, Ahasazi, Ivan Technology is all in, to win Idina. No part of what VP testing machine. I can't say I'm a Amazon TV. I see it. So I see technology. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So today, I'm not sure. 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 Dominic Paolo Bom just picked a topic on corruption. A very good day to our respected judge and everyone present here at Kampupi. Corruption. Corruption it is a bad way of earning money. It is uh, power given to our leaders for the society, but it, it, it is tend to use in the bad ways. It is tend to use in the for themselves, but not for the society. Even the lower corruption. So let us all take action together and stop these evil practices of earning of corruption in Manipur and everywhere. Let us all join hands together and fight for this even practices. Thank you. Contestant number nine, Mr. Lankailu has big and dangerous species need protection. I repeat, endangered species need protection. Hello, Kangui. It's great to see you all. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, we have many endangered species right now because of the changing climate and the environment. Even in the context of Manipur, we have the sunlight. Uh, as these endangered species, they have a very uh, high chance of extinction. Uh, this 
uh, extension of these species does not only affect the ecosystem, but it also affects our life. And the extension of a species will ruin the balance of the biodiversity in the, uh, in the world. So, uh, we should protect, firstly, in order to protect the endangered species, we need to first focus on protecting and safeguarding our environment, which is a habitat for all the humans and the animals, as, and especially the endangered, endangered species. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Manayal Ko, and to the staff forward. Hang Min Ho Anthony has big social impact of COVID-19. I repeat, social impact of COVID-19. We've all been through COVID-19. I was there, everyone was here. There have been many deaths through this COVID-19. We had to stay indoors because nobody wanted to get sick. We couldn't get sick because if we did, we would die. And that's the reason why none of us go out. There was no physical attraction between people anymore. No physical contact. No exercise, nothing. We all stayed at home. This caused society to come this step. Now, what happened was, because of COVID-19, everybody had to stay indoors. We all had to use our phones or any other apps, TVs, to entertain ourselves. This made us lazy and it made us sick. I urge people to start doing physical activities as well. The impact of COVID-19 has on our lives is very destructive. We should change our own habits, our own lifestyles, in order to become better. Thank you. Next contestant, contest number three, Lei Min Tang. Fantastic. Pros and cons of online learning. I repeat, pros and cons of online learning. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Kampo B. I will be speaking on the topic pros and cons of online learning. As a student myself who spent two years of my college life in online classes, I can tell you this the positive point of online classes is that there is efficiency in learning. There is, uh, these online classes are also quite affordable for the students. Since the students, they don't have to physically attend the classes, the students end up saving time and money. Having said that, we also have to understand that the negative points of online classes. Uh, I think one of the negative uh, points of online classes is that there is lack, lack of accessibility. Not everyone has the materials or the resources to even benefit through these online classes. Not everyone has the, not every student has the uh, good internet connection or even Wi-Fi connection to even join these online classes. Also, the students, uh, since they don't physically attend the classes, the, the students and uh, all the students as well, they lack in social skills, which would be possible only through um, offline classes. Having said that, I would like to emphasize that no matter what, be it online classes or offline classes, what matters is your hard work, your determination and your consistency. If you are a hardworking person, if you remain consistent and if you uh, are determined towards your journey, then uh, you can achieve anything, uh, no matter what, be it online classes or offline classes. Thank you so much. Let us on the speak. Why books are better than their movies? I repeat, why books are better than their movies? Thank you so much. Good evening, one and all. It's pleased to see you all. Ah, yeah, books are better than movies. Ah, in some parts because uh, when you see the movies, the actors are the characters, but when you read the book, you are the main character. And it improves your imagination because when you read the book, you are the character and you are the only actor. And 
uh, it gives you the reason and you can do all the activities. And on the other hand, the movies are good and better because you see the vision and the places, even if it is not real, and in life, you can see the graphics because it's all real. And you see the, uh, the, the film, the movie called Thanos. And the Avengers Endgame, you see the character. It's not in real life, but you see, you can experience it. It's like, it feels like real. Uh, that's the benefits of watching movie. And let's be a better person in real life too. Thank you all. Contestant number 7, Matt Gusson. And next we have contestant number 15, Paul Moon Sun. To step forward and pick the ballot. Mr. Paul Moon Sun has big hard work versus smart work. I repeat, hard work versus smart work. Good evening everyone. My topic tonight is smart work or hard work. As the saying goes, working smart is better than working hard. I also, I also am a sponge believer in hard work. I believe in myself when I say that I can do a task or something given to me easier and quicker and much more efficiently than someone else. Of course, in some professions, hard work is a prerequisite. But if we're talking generally, I can say that hard work always wins. Uh, for example, for instance, if my asking judges were to give me a task of chopping wood for a daily wage, I would rather pick up a chainsaw and uh, cut up the wood instead of picking up an axe. So, for me, smart work will always win. Thank you. That was the contestant number 50. Contestant number eight, Mr. Homie Noon has big youth empowerment. I repeat, youth empowerment. อ่าทะเลนาคิดตันนี่ที่อภัตตงตั้งเปียวมีที่โอลาจุเข็นเสียดอนมุจีเลยอ่าจะปังเฮียทางด้อมสงเลยอ่าบอเทงาวตั้ง
major issue in our society affecting individuals, families, or communities. We should work together in order to make our community free from drugs. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you very much, Alun Khan. That was a nice dinner. Samuel. Now, good morning. Let's speak a topic on impact of education. Impact of education. Bravo, B. Education he atu pida ni ba noi lo so je yin chule education u ki pa ni school apa na hi he school um da ha na na education um thei lo di ide na chi hong school apa rai ka hi bin te na education in dei bin he in chim thei bin ye thei bin he chi education he ba noi ni se kum ti sam na na be yin chi le ha chim na a b e bin ye ho do thei na ye ho ma thei na ba ol ha ma ho na zong ye ho do ma thei ye bin ตาเลยจีจีเกชันนี่มีเรื่องจะลาอย่างสิ่งที่รู้ตาเห็นสุดท้ายเลยมีไม่สามมีใจอย่างกับทั้งจีนี่เหี้ยเหี้ยจุน
it's a privilege for me to be here as a functional president. So I'm also happy and uh, thank the Lord. I am born as Thado Bright and I'll die as a Thado Bright. Respected to Kamsan, Honorable Minister, RDPR, Mahur, Manipur, respected to El Susindra, Mete Eli Kaima, his Minister of PFTD, CAF, and PD. Respected to Christopher Dover, DGP, Prison, and Managing Director, and PhD, Special Guest, Oman Kabam, Ibom Chan. Singing, Tuni Hi, Akhun Ne Chanda, Kun Festival, Kun, even now he Kamasanga Kusei Pan Kampupia Tina Kea Poeti like a headphone, Kutan Hin, Manipura Kure, Kampupia he, Kisi, Manipur Hida, I did report where a Buddha Kali Adunangasi Yamna Apoji, a respected Honorable Minister Apoji Chief Kieski. The Loi Narakpa, Mahaki Vises, Adamoku, the Hatna, Amu Hana Hana, a Hadakwa, Amazon, a Ku Nundari, Madam Sana, a Nundari Road, once again, Kakipa, a Puna Hukal Soho, say, to San Pulanahin, to let Sandy Lanahin, a moon. I would like to request Mr. James Arjun to be on the stage, please. Ikati Tobanga, Ikati Ikiti, a cultural festival, Tobanga, Kupita, Ibodo, Kisol, Bina Umama, looking at to a Siza, whom Nuago Langhorn, to address the Manda, to looking at organizer, whom he had an organizer, looking at Tia Hinza, he took a long to function in a home in Kapazo.
Robert Allen, a dynamic fashion entrepreneur who believes in the dreams and craftsmanship of his state, is here to present the fabulous collection of this beautiful evening. Presenting Robert Nauram to celebrate Hun Tadao Cultural Festival.
and all the guesses Your attention please, ladies and gentlemen. The showstopper is sponsored by a very own Pu Yungnam Kim Chan and Pu and Ipochan Ipochoba. Ladies and gentlemen, please, on the dice, on the stage, sir, please. Turiya showstopper A Pan Piu, Nis Harna Sandu, Ama Ute na sponsor A Bo Piwi, Pu Yungnam Kim Chan, Chule Pu and Ipochoba. Yeah, good day, Piwi Day! Mipite ho, chilai langa thilpe chijing laayin Ngalel po hitin Tua hi ipi dang nga lel na laayu wam Ipi dang nga lel na laayu wam Kanchan! Ma'am, as a solace, ma'am, you are invited on the stage, please. Ishori! Nipite ho, tua thilkipe ho, tuni so a ingalel zingu, robot ngawrem so a kichai tolhonin, vet no bumta, ngay no bumta, chitengle a dangdang yung performance yan lang. Yeah, I got. 
and third, 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 I have got a beautiful wife. <laughs> I, have got, I have got a beautiful, beautiful wife who is, she is just of your miss and mister, miss and mister, mister of, of tonight. Please stand up. Oh, please stand up, my dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm really happy tonight. I'm going to finish my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And by this evening, uh, yes, I lost my respect on Sri Sushindra Maitei, Honorable Minister, and uh, there, are, there are other MLAs and all the officials, including IS officers, IPS officers, and Asana Ebola officials, dignitaries of the dais, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to tell you here, my culture, my identity. My culture, my identity. Nasi Minsla, Nasi Hun Festival, identity, identity, and I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to Nasi Laiva Mayam Si Aihua Tawa Lakunate, Sidas Laiva Kanugi, Miss Contest, Miss Contest, Yego Lakunina, and Tenzin Zarakanda. Good evening and and Ukipaye. Have a nice day. Good night.